you've ever been, and you just fucking lose your shit, and then all of a sudden you're in fight or flight or fear or all three, and you might even, you know, your limbic system is going to take a picture of everything around. And that's how it knows the smell of spaghetti and this color and whatever else. When these things happen at the same time once again, well then, this same emotion is going to keep brought out. So you tell me, by getting people to watch the same news fucking shit every day, by giving you worse numbers every fucking day, giving you the picture that things are getting worse, that you can die, that people are dying, that the world's never going back to normal. You watching that every day, neocortex coming in feedback loop coming back out and then limbic system saying oh shit you get an emotional response flight or flight the next day you wake up you're okay you watch that again fight or flight fight or flight it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse to the point where it gets to be too much and then you're not even gonna know but you're already fucking programmed you already you're just going on this autopilot Take a look at that video, watch it for yourself, get all the information in a row, because I can't keep putting it on here, recording it and playing in the background, but seriously, think about that. If there is this, if this happens, and this is a phenomenon that's then marked down, that people suppress these traumatic events. Well, we're going through something traumatic right now, or quote unquote traumatic. And if this happens to you, if you're watching this and it's so traumatic that you end up it goes back a second, takes a picture of all the surroundings, and then you never have to think about that again. Then maybe you're not worried about corona, and then all of a sudden the corona comes to around, and then your limbic system recognizes everything around, and boom, autopilot, automatically in fight or flight. You know what I mean? And then you're programmed. They don't even have to put it on the news anymore if the majority of the people are already like this. If the majority of people have this in their mind, and this has happened to them. They're using your neocortex against you. Well, they're using your neocortex, your limbic system, all that against you. This is what the media is, what most people in the truth and spiritual movements have been saying, depolarization, shut off the fucking TV, because it's not doing you any good. You're manifesting someone else's desires, meaning what you focus on happens. But now even more than that, you're focusing on the shit, you're making it worse, and on top of it, they've got you with a fucking trigger in you that they can trigger, as long as you're around a radio or a fucking TV. Cut that shit out. Don't, don't turn the fucking thing off. Do yourself a favor. It's not going to do any good to stay. You know, if you really have to stay informed, then, you know, once a week, you turn it on, or twice a week. You don't put any emotion to it. You go in there, you, you breathe. What do you do? Whatever you got to do. You can send me a personal message and I'll tell you what I would do if I was in your shoes. But there's no reason to know anymore of this. It's either going to get worse, or it's going to get better, or it's going to stay the same. We know this. You're either already affected or you're going to become infected, or, you know, you're never going to be infected. Like, there's no point in dwelling on this shit and worrying about it over and over and over again. I'm sure this is already over the 15 minutes, so if there's a cut, a split in some of these videos and it looks all fucked, well, this is why. In this video, we will take a look at the third... Holy fucking dead air, man. In this video, we will take a look at the third anthology by the Temple of Ascending Flame, Tree of Clefoth. It is our largest book so far, and you will find here a lot of information about the Dark Tree, both introductory and designed for more advanced practitioners of draconian magic. So let's see what we can find in the book. Tree of Clefoth is dedicated to exploring the dark side of the Kabbalistic tree as a map of draconian initiation. In essays, rituals, and other expressions of personal research and experience, magicians and initiates of the draconian tradition discuss the realms of the night side, teachings and gnosis of its dark denizens, as well as practical methods developed both within the temple and through their individual work. Material included in this book will give the reader a foretaste of these forces and a glimpse of what you can expect while embarking on the self-initiatory journey through the labyrinths of the Dark Tree. The book was inspired by an inner project conducted by the temple several years ago and includes the original invocations as well as essays presenting personal results submitted by individual practitioners. Alright, and just so you know, yes, I have that book and many other books like it.
Um, so the reason I'm playing that is because today when I came home from work, there was a Teal Swan and Infinite Waters Ralph Smart special episode on, and I watched it. Um, I ended up shutting it off a little bit through, but then I ended up watching the whole thing because you know I watched the ending and then I watched the beginning. And I like Ralph Smart, and I think he's a very depolarized guy, and I think he's got a great message, and I think it's great now that he's actually, um, you know, I don't, th I don't think he's always been completely all love and light or anything like that, but I think now more than ever he's really trying to help and, you know, trying to use everything he knows to help keep, guide people the right way that are looking for guidance. So. Uh, points for him and Teal Swan is somebody who I used to watch in the beginning of my spirituality. Both of them. Um, I, I don't even know. If, I don't know if I'm still subscri subscribed to her, but I was at one point, and um, I can't remember really much what she's into now. But when it came to seeing auras and a whole bunch of other stuff, she was one of my go-to's for the longest time. But understand though, she's a mother. She's in another country, and I can't remember if her son's with her in this other country, and she's stuck there because of this coronavirus shit. So a lot of things she says is kind of like what I said, well, definitely what Ralph says, you know, that they don't really believe in this coronavirus, that it's dang that dangerous for healthy people, that wearing a mask is silly, and the social distancing is worse. But she's the type of girl who's been promoting the idea, the, the fact that she sees things before they happen, and that the collective chose this path in 2015, five years ago, that's how long it takes to manifest something as a collective, anyways, to manifest these things like that. Because then she goes on to say, well, people say, well, if we just create a reality, then we'll just focus on something else, then it'll be. And she's like, yeah, but this has already been put in play. And anyways, I don't want, I don't want this to come off rude or insensitive. Because like I even sent the message saying, uh, I sent a few messages. Um, there's so many people on there though, it's crazy. So they didn't see it, but was that? Because she was, she didn't know what to do. You could tell she was really stressed out, and it made me think of this stuff. It made me think of her limbic system getting overwhelmed, so overwhelmed that she's gonna have a trigger in her too when the next time this gets worse, bad again, because she's a mom fearing for her child, and you know that's one reason right there to have this emotional response if you're not depolarized enough. And you know she totally looked like she was in fight or flight, and I'm not saying that to make fun of her because she's a guru, and now she's. And I'm not, and I could be completely wrong too. Maybe she's even an actor playing for the fucking other team and pretending to be on the other team. Maybe they all are. I don't know. I'm just saying I was actually worried about her during that interview. I was worried about the way she was talking and things she was saying and all that because you can generally see that she was, she was hurting. She was worried. She was hurting. It wasn't good. And, you know, there's a lot of fear that could have been created with that episode with the things she was saying. Um, not for me, once again, I'm depolarized, so anytime there's fearful energy, I don't put any emotion into it whatsoever, and that was done through training. That's why this depolarization is important. That plus, when you reduce the effect of the stars above you, well then, you know, you don't have that effect. Um, they don't have that as strength, as intense of a pull on you to make you do what they want you to do, um, so to speak. But... The reason I'm playing this to clip off is because I think about 46 minutes in this interview, Ralph Smart says something about the black magicians or the dark wizards ruling this thing. And he thinks, I almost think that we have to learn what they know to be able to, I don't know if it was fight back, I doubt it was fight back, but to counter this or to help out or to offer solutions or whatever the case was. So I was literally going to send a message saying, okay, I was going to say Generally speaking, the consensus is that dark mag magicians use the clip off versus the Kabbalah um, that other magicians use. And then I was going to get into detail about, you know, what exactly that entails. Sorry, my battery's going to die. So, the point I was trying to get at with all this was, um, you know, there's a. Whenever he said that, I was going to send Ralph a message telling him about the clip off, and that's what most people think the dark magicians use. But. I also, after reading Kabbalah Great Works of Transformation and doing path working with the Tree of Life, I decided to study the Klipoth. I used um, Demonolatry. Demonolatry is the, the practice of using demons versus Demonology is the study of demons um, and marking them down. And there's various other names. But anyways, I, I ended up looking at it because, well... The tree of life is positive and negative, and there's a neutral path to go up. So, 
within that tree there's polarity like everything else within the elements there's polarity um, and you know most Catholics Christians will tell you that elemental forces are demons and demon means um, oh, there's a few definitions of it one's not um, anyways it's a divine name it doesn't actually mean like this fucking rebellious spirit well that's one way to look at it but anyways um, so I figured well this was the up part of the tree this is like the roots or this is night and day this is like yin yang you know dark and light so if I'm truly depolarized I should look at this if I'm truly not afraid of spirits anymore I should study this and so I have I read it uh, a few times and you know I don't I've said this before I don't use demons a lot I'm not like I'm not a Luciferian or practicing Satanism whichever way you want to classify that as um, but even within these books they explain how egregores work and thought forms and shit like that but these there's people that do the demonolatry that believe the demons are just a source of energy that you can use um, and likewise um, they think Likewise, same thing with the first part, the path working. But anyways, it's polarity within everything. So, like the tree of life has more good polarity than bad polarity. The tree of death, or the clipoth, or whatever you want to call this uh, this study, um, it has obviously good and bad within it as well. Like I said, understand that these bad guys, the Satans, the Sets, the Seths, the you know even the Moon, L, um, different things like this were evil at one time. And were giving offerings and had whatever they were just the embodiment of it that worked through you and if you didn't want that to happen there's a simple solution you gave it an offering and that shit works and that shit still works today now there's one there's another, many ways you can look at this such as Saturn is Satan therefore you're using Satan if you're using the tree of life as well so it's just as bad if not worse, yes and no. The archangels kind of rule over the demons versus this is going right to the source. Now, just like there's the yin yang, everybody's made up of good and bad energy or positive and negative, however you want to look at it. Some people have more negative, some people have more positive. Some people are more drawn to darker stuff, some people are more drawn to lighter stuff. It's the reason why some people like Miley Cyrus or Taylor Swift or Katy Perry, and some people like Marilyn Manson, Ron Zombie. Um, and you know death metal versus country and shit like that there's just two polarities to everything just like our world we're living in now there's people that are more love and light there's people that are more dark and sinister there's people it takes both we need polarity we need polarity and you know I, I kept going over that in my head when they were both talking and it's like you know what it's just I'm not gonna even gonna bring it up but you know Ralph's on the right path as far as I can tell not that I know better than him he's been in this shit a lot longer than me but just using magic in my my opinion and my views the reason I studied that book and I looked at that book because I thought a well-balanced magician and witch can look at that and not be tempted to use all these powers for their own good and come to find out that yeah there's some nasty stuff you can do but you can also do some nasty stuff with Mars and 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 Saturn and hell you can do stuff with Jupiter because Jupiter doesn't believe in too much of anything so you can send somebody a whole lot of bad shit through Jupiter using him a specific time and you know it doesn't matter right what can cure can kill as Birch would say salt is one of these things that protect and you know it's one of the best things you can do for cleansing and cleaning and removing and whatever else and it's, you know salt kills infection and shit like that but you know you, there's spells where you can use salt and it's a, it's a bad thing you know just like the positive and negative paradigm shift thing positive ions and negative ions if you have too many positive ions you will be